So when it comes to whether you can fully recover, my honest answer is it really depends. What it depends on are many factors and this is what I'm going to share with you in this video. So firstly, what are the things that you cannot control when it comes to your stroke recovery journey? The first thing will be your age. Next will be the extent and the severity of your stroke. And lastly, it will be your genetic predisposition to having a stroke. So these three factors, except for the last one, for your age and the extent of the stroke severity, these are things that you cannot control, but they actually affect your recovery journey quite a bit in the sense that if you are younger, the research has shown that you have a higher potential to recover. And when the extent of your stroke severity is much smaller, the potential for recovery is also much better because just by the fact that you have less brain tissue that is damaged compared to a bigger stroke. And now coming to the things that you can control. There are many things. First, it is your motivation and mindset when it comes to your recovery. Next is your physical effort and the physical activity that you put for your rehabilitation journey. Next is your sleep, nutrition and your stress management which leads to your self-care routine. Next is your goals that you set for yourself, how realistic it is and how much your effort that you're putting into achieving these goals. And next is your social connections that you have with your loved ones, your caregivers and also other stroke survivors. Now we're going to move on to the top four factors that I think are very important for you to address and which is within your means of addressing. The most important factor in my opinion is your mindset and your motivation. If you're able to get this mindset right, your recovery will be exponentially faster compared to other, other stroke survivors. So for your mindset, the first thing that I need you to understand is that recovery and rehabilitation is going to be an uphill task, especially at the early stages. And this uphill task does not mean that your recovery will always remain uphill. It will get easier towards the later stages of your stroke recovery journey. But at the initial stages, it will be tough, but it will not stay that way. Next thing is you want to take things day by day and appreciate every small little gains that you make and small little improvements that you make towards achieving your goals. And you want to document this so that you can understand how far you have come since day one of your stroke journey. And in this journey, to develop this mindset, I have a resiliency towards having uh, facing difficulties. You want to keep talking to your physical therapist or your physiotherapist and also your caregivers and your loved ones. Share with them the difficulties that you're going through and seek support from them. By seeking support from your physio or your physical therapist, you can also ask for tips to get better at some of the things or the challenges that you're facing. So the most important thing in my opinion is your mindset and your motivation. This, if you get it right, trust me, nothing will stop you as a stroke survivor. The second most important thing that you can work on to enhance your recovery journey is the effort that you put into your rehabilitation. Forget the idea that rehabilitation will be a fast thing. Throw out the idea that you're going to get fast results the moment you start putting in some effort for your rehab. This is not going to be the case. In fact, rehabilitation is going to be lifelong for most of you and the effort that you put has to be consistent. The idea that you must believe in is that consistency will always win. And these results that you are seeking for, they will eventually come. But if you stop putting in the effort and you are, if you are not an active participant in your rehabilitation journey, then it is going to take much longer to achieve the results. And in fact, you will be much more likely to give up along the way instead of achieving your rehabilitation goals. To assist in putting effort in your rehab journey, you want to understand why and how the exercises can help you. Don't just do it for the sake of doing it when it is prescribed by your therapist. Ask them how this exercise is going to help you to achieve your goals so that you see a meaning behind all these exercises and you continue to put in your all, give it your all at home when you're doing the exercises. So remember the effort that you put into your rehab, it is crucial and it has to be a consistent daily thing that you do for yourself. The next most important factor that you can control is your self-care routine whereby it is referring to your sleep and your nutrition and stress management. These three things are very important because these three things, if not managed properly, can even somehow lead to a second stroke for yourself. So for nutrition, ensure that you're having healthier meals. I'm not saying that you always have to eat healthy. You can have one cheat meal in a week or maybe two if your diet allows for it, but eat healthy most of the time. 
And by eating healthy, I mean that you want to include a lot more green vegetables prepared in a healthy way, of course. Next is your sleep. I am, what I mean by sleep is that during the day, if you want to take a nap, it should not be more than one nap a day and you should try to aim to keep the duration short and minimal. What you should be doing is activity and exercises during the day or even working during the day and going in the evening after your meal, you have to wind down and have a sleep throughout the night. So this is important. What I mean by sleep is not that you should sleep the whole day, you should sleep at the night time and that is how your recovery will be a bit more better compared to if you're sleeping in the daytime. Next is your stress management. Practice a lot of breathing, reflection, writing down your thoughts, or if you're not able to write down, then record yourself talking and reflect, uh, reflect a lot on the thoughts that is going on. Catch yourself whenever you have this negative talk that is coming and undermining you or self-sabotaging you. This thing is very important because how you manage your internal dialogue is how you will end up doing well in your rehabilitation journey. The last factor is your social connections. The connections that you have with your family, your loved ones, your caregivers, and also support groups such as stroke survivors support groups. This is very, very important also because this is where you can draw your strength on, strength from when you are having hard days or challenges in your recovery journey. For example, if you have a well-connected stroke survivor support group, then you can share with them your challenges you're going through and also bounce off ideas on how you can overcome this difficult period of your, of your recovery journey. In fact, most of them might have gone through a similar episode and they are more than happy to share with you some of the strategies that they have worked on. And your family and your loved ones, if you're having a good connection with them, they can be a reason for you to actually recover and play a meaningful role in your family and be a participant in family activities with them for them. So don't underestimate the value of social social connections and this is very, very important. I hope that this video is able to give you an encompassing view of what this question means. Can you recover fully after a stroke? Well, the answer, as you can see, is really multifactorial and yes, you can recover. It is how much you want to recover and if you do not give up, you will be able to recover as much as you want to. This is my honest take on can you recover fully. The research can say that yes, for chronic stroke survivors, the recovery is going to slow down and it's going to be much more difficult to recover. But if you do not give up, then that is the only thing that you have to work on because if you do not stop yourself, you can always find ways that you can make things better and efficient for yourself and have a recovery and a meaningful life for yourself even after a stroke. After a stroke. If you want to check out some more exercises videos for stroke especially, then I'm going to link the videos here. But if not, then I'll see you in the next video.